Hey guys, in this video I'll be talking about CMSYS. To give you a brief description of what CMSYS is all about, I've gone ahead and opened up an example project from the NRF5 SDK. One important thing to note is that every example project from the NRF5 SDK contains a file known as sdkconfig.h. The sdkconfig.h file contains definitions of all the static configurations associated with the SDK files contained within that project. As can be seen on the screen, I've gone ahead and scrolled down to the specific section of this project's sdkconfig.h file where the watchdog timer is being configured. There are several specific static configurations associated with the watchdog timer and I'll briefly explain each one. This first static configuration is a boolean that decides whether or not the watchdog timer is enabled. By setting the value to 1, the watchdog timer is effectively enabled within this project. And by changing that value to 0, the watchdog timer is disabled. Looking a little further down, this next static configuration decides the behavior of the watchdog timer in sleep and halt modes. As you can see, the annotation text above indicates that this value can be chosen from a list. And the list contains values 1, 8, 9, and 0. By setting this value to 1, for example, the watchdog timer will run in sleep mode and pause in halt mode. But switching that value to 9, the watchdog timer will run in sleep mode as well as the halt mode. The next value is a value that decides the reload value of the watchdog timer, which is effectively after how long or after a specific time interval after which the watchdog timer will reset the CPU. This value can be chosen between values 15 and 4 billion, and the value of 2000 suffices as it falls within that range. The last value is the watchdog timer's interrupt priority. As the annotation text shows, this value can be chosen between values 0 and 7, and a value of 6 suffices as it falls within that range. An important point to note is that all the text in green is CMSYS annotation code. What that means is that the CMSYS program can pass through this text and automatically generate a graphical user interface that we can use to edit all the static configurations in this file. To open up the CMSYS configurator, I would typically right click on the sdkconfig.h file and click on the CMSYS configuration wizard tab. As you can see, this project's sdkconfig.h file contains several expandable folders. And to navigate to the watchdog timer, I will highlight the NRF drivers folder and scroll down to the nrfxwdt folder, which corresponds to the watchdog timer. Under the watchdog timers folder, you can see all the static configurations that correspond to the same configurations in the text file. For example, the nrfxwdt enabled static configuration is shown here with a check mark. By unchecking this box, I effectively disable the watchdog timer in this project. And by checking it, I effectively enable the watchdog timer in this project. I'll go ahead and uncheck this box since the text on the left had the watchdog timer enabled. Similarly, the interrupt priority of the watchdog timer can be chosen from a list between 0 to 7. I'll go ahead and select 2 since the value selected in the text was 5. If I go ahead and click on the save button and return to the text file, what we can see is that the watchdog timer is now disabled and the interrupt priority has changed to 2 as was set in the CMSYS configurator. The greatest benefit of using CMSYS is that we can quickly and easily edit the values of the static configurations in the sdkconfig.h file. The sdkconfig.h file is typically very large. As you can see, this project's sdkconfig.h file contains 12,000 lines of code. And it might be very time consuming and difficult to look for one specific static configuration within this file and edit it then after. It's important to note that you can use the CMSYS configuration tool with a file that is not sdkconfig.h. That means you can create your own header files that contain static definitions for your specific project 
and then comment or annotate that file using the cmsys notation. And the cmsys configuration tool will be able to pass through that file and automatically generate a graphical user interface that you can use to edit or manipulate the static configurations within that file. In order to download the cmsys configuration wizard or the cmsys configuration tool, you can navigate to the first link in the description, which will take you to this official download page of the tool. You can then go ahead and click on the green download button and that will download the CMSYS configuration wizard immediately. Another way to access the CMSYS configuration wizard is if you have downloaded one of the latest versions of the SDK and if you navigate to the external tools folder and as well as the CMSYS config folder, you'll be able to access a setup file for the CMSYS configuration wizard which already comes with the SDK. The second link in the description will navigate to this web page shown on the screen. This web page details the specific syntax that the CMSYS configuration wizard expects to see in a file that it passes. And the third link in the description details the method that is required in order to set up your Sega Embedder Studio to work in conjunction with the CMSYS configuration wizard. As can be seen, in order to set up your Sega Embedder Studio to work with CMSYS, you will typically click on the File menu, Open Studio Folder, and click on External Tools Configuration. After the Tools text that is highlighted, you can then paste this text that is acquired from the third link in the description. After copying and pasting this text inside your Sega Embedder Studio, you can click on the Save button, and after restarting your Sega Embedder Studio and opening an example project, you can right-click on the SDK config file, and you should be able to see the CMSYS configuration wizard tab show up in the menu. So in a nutshell, CMSYS is a Java-based tool that is a graphical user interface that is used to edit or modify the static configurations inside the SDK config.h file. There is two main advantages to using the CMSYS configurator instead of manually editing the SDK config.h file. The first one is that the CMSYS configurator is a quicker way to edit the static configurations. Since all the configurations are neatly and nicely organized into relevantly named folders inside the graphical user interface. The second point is that it is a much safer way to be editing such an important file since it uses a graphical approach instead of a text-based approach. Thank you very much for watching this video.